again one of the most magnificent books and cookbooks that I've ever come across the greatest cookbook ever published quote me on that <music> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's video actually we're going to talk about two things. On the one hand we're going to talk a little bit about Vincent Price since last Thursday it would have been his 110th birthday and also about his cookbook A Treasury of Great Recipes which is one of my favorite books, one of my favorite cookbooks but also one of my favorite books that I own. And since it's books we're talking about I also wanted to mention the annual summer reading classic film book challenge hosted by Raquel Stetcher over at her blog Out of the Past which is a reading challenge that if you love classic films and reading books around that topic you absolutely can't miss. In any case I think this is a great invitation to read more, to learn more about classic films and find out more things that you like and also to share it. So all in all I think it is a great initiative and that's why I wanted to share it in case there was someone who was not familiar with it and wanted to participate this year. So I'll leave the link down below so that you can have all the information. As I was saying at the beginning we're here mainly to discuss and talk about and recommend this book that I have behind me, A Treasury of Great Recipes. In case you don't know it, this is a cookbook that Mary and Vincent Price wrote and it was first published in 1965. Actually, the copy that I have behind me, it's a re-edition of 2015 and it actually includes a retrospective preface by Vincent Price's daughter, Victoria Price. This book is quite special to me because actually I attended the UK book launch of this book in which we had breakfast at Harrods in London and Victoria Price was there too and so she signed that copy and that was really a fantastic experience. I actually have two copies of this book because I discovered its existence quite a few years ago and I bought a second-hand edition from 1983 and I immediately became enamored with that cookbook. It was not like anything I had ever read in terms of books, in terms of cookbooks and also it was by an actor that I already admired and that I came to admire and love even more. So what is then a treasury of great recipes? It is a magnificent and very thorough compendium of the most exquisite recipes carefully curated by Mary and Vincent Price from their many trips around the world. Probably as some of you would know Vincent Price was really a gourmet, a great enthusiast of art but also of food and cooking. Vincent had a very early connection with food, with sweets in this case if you will because his father Vincent Leonard Price Sr. was the president of the National Candy Company. His grandfather invented Dr. Price's baking powder. Furthermore, as Victoria Price explains in this 50th anniversary edition, his grandfather as well as inventing the baking powder, he was also the author of a series of popular cookbooks commonly known as one of the housewife's best friends. Thus, what an extraordinary connection with cooking and cookbooks that Vincent price had and that I discovered thanks to a treasury of great recipes. But in any case his passion for learning and for food was something that he developed gradually throughout his life. You get a glimpse though of how young Vincent became again enamored with visual arts, majoring in English and art history and starting out in theater starring in the hit play Victoria Regina with Helen Hayes. The traveling bug also started pretty early on. Although the preface is focused primarily on Vincent Price, there is also word on Mary. Mary Price, then Mary Grant, was his second wife. They would eventually divorce and she was a costume designer who worked in theater and film, who also shared his passion for food and traveling as well. Between the years 1965 and 1969, Grant co-authored a series of cookbooks, starting with, again, a treasure of great recipes with her then husband Vincent Price. When you open up the book you start with an invitation and a promise and that tone, a very approachable and genuine one, is what you find 
throughout the book. The aim of Mary and Vincent Price in sharing all these exquisite recipes is to make them replicable and that's something that I think is quite unique. If you think of those days I think you'll immediately think about Julia Child, what Julia Child did. Well that is what you find in a treasury of great recipes. I think again the value of this book is not only in terms of the food and the recipes that they share, it's also a fantastic testimony of a genuine philosophy of of life. The book is divided by eight major chapters broken down by countries being the one dedicated to the United States really the lengthiest one. Those countries are in turn broken down again by their favorite restaurants. These main chapters are beautifully complemented also by a fantastic chapter called specialties of our house in which they talk about recipes that were a must at their house and particularly the dark mocha cake is one of the best. Two more chapters called Blender Magic and also Frozen Acids which is a really fun title for explaining the various ways they stored food in the freezer which are super helpful I must say. Each chapter has a very charming and again genuine preface by Vincent Price. When he discusses each country he is carefully trying to broaden the mind of the reader. So these are not random introductions to the recipes. These are carefully written and they deserve your full attention. He shares his thoughts on the flavors of the place, of the nature of the people, on what he loves about each place, each restaurant, and it is truly beautiful. When you read these stories, you begin to understand how carefully this book was designed. This is something that again comes from Vincent Price heart and mind and it has a very clear intention again to make something he loves and he is passionate about approachable for others to replicate. He wants you to be part of that and to give you the tools and make them accessible so that you can also appreciate and enjoy cooking and learn more about different types of cooking from different parts of the world. What is so unique and so fantastic is that they also share the menu Menus that they collected from these restaurants so you get to have a glimpse of what some of these very fantastic restaurants felt like just by reading what the menu was you can immediately again get transported to another era so in a sense this cookbook it's like a traveling machine not only through the world but also through time in a way and that's something in my opinion quite extraordinary I don't think I own many books that have have caused that effect on me. I also have great admiration for photography and for illustration too and in that regard I couldn't have been more mesmerized. Each chapter begins not only with the words of Vincent Price but also there's a small illustration at the top right corner of the page and it's by German-born artist and graphic designer Fritz Credel who gives you like a sort of a sketch in black and white that feels very personal, very close. You almost have the impression that you're seeing Mary and Vincent's own sketches while they traveled. I was amazed by how consistent this approach was. This whole book concept was that of a precious and intimate publication. Its pictures, its photographs too, are quite amazing. They were taken mainly by the great photographer William Claxton with collaborations of other photographers like Tosh Matsumoto or Elliot Elisafan. Maybe you're not at all familiar with these names, but they were representative an exceptional generation of photographers and photo documentalists. On a more personal level, some of my favorite chapters of the book are those dedicated to Italy, Holland, the Netherlands, and the US. The chapters dedicated to the US, being myself from Spain, were the most intriguing and fascinating. It was great to read about all these places from Vincent's perspective, also from the mindset of another era, and I particularly relished the chapters devoted to places like New York's Sardis or another one dedicated to the Racket Club of Palm Springs founded by actors Charles Farrell and Ralph Bellamy which was something that I truly didn't know. Vincent, in case you don't know, starred in his own cooking show in 1971. The show was cleverly named Cooking 
price wise and he would cook dishes from around the world again with a very approachable doable philosophy and his own unique humor so if you're wondering if i have ever used the cookbook to actually cook something the answer is yes i have cooked various recipes mainly sweet and some of my favorites are the dark mocha cake recipe the shortbread recipe and a souffle that i did a while ago also as i have to mention too many i think of the restaurants that are mentioned here they still exist so for vincent price fans for those who enjoy cooking and consider it an art for those who love getting lost in marvelous details this is definitely the book you have been waiting for because by all means this cookbook is truly a treasure all right so that was all for today's video i hope as always that you enjoyed it and as i was saying also at the beginning of this video if you like reading classic film related books by all means consider raquel's summer reading classic film book challenge as i said before i will leave links down below to her blog and to the reading challenge and also one more information about a treasury of great recipes if you want to dig a little deeper and as always take care stay safe and see you all in my next video bye to tell people that art is not something for one class of people economic class or educated class but art belongs to everyone the artist originally created art for all people not for any special group or any special kind of people art is the visual experience of man made exciting by talent.